there, it's Sydney with Tastefully Frugal, and this video is the second project out of our back to school mystery box that I curated with 143 vinyl. We are going to be making these personalized pencil pouches. So this is, this is a very, very basic video. It's great for beginners, especially if you've never layered HTV before or ironed on vinyl. I'll share some tips on how to make sure you get the best results out of your projects, including some um, accessories that you'll want to use as well as what materials work best with layering um, for HTV and what materials don't work for HTV. So of everything that we'll be using on the table today, this is also a really good HTV project. If you don't have a heat press or an easy press, this is one that you can do with a household iron. Um, in this video, I'll be using the easy press mini, which I absolutely love using the mini for projects that have like zippers like these or um, seams like uh, onesies and things like that. The Easy Press Mini is really nice when you're working for smaller projects, but I'll be sharing tips on how um, to make this project even if you're using a heat press um, or an Easy Press as well. So we have everything we'll be using today. I'll be cutting out the materials on the Cricut Maker 3. You can use any cutting machine for these materials. We are going to be using the Caesar um, Sparkle HTV, which I really like the sparkle and the twinkle HTVs for the glitter look. If you don't want the like raised up glitter look for your HTV, this is an awesome um, material. It's more, it's smooth, so you can layer on top of it versus if you um, layered on top of the glitter HTV that's more bumpy. Um, I don't recommend doing that because the uh, HTV tends to peel. So this is a really great sparkly, glittery HTV. Um, and then we're for the darker color, we're using Caesar Electric in the color Tungsten. I have linked everything we're using in the description of this video. I've also linked all of the videos that we've done um, in the past for the Back to School Mystery Box and all the ones that we'll do in the future I'll add as well. So if you'd like to check out the other projects from the Back to School Mystery Box, check out, check out the description below. Um, and I'll also be sharing with you how to use pressing pillows. If you've never uh, heard of pressing pillows or used them um, with your HTV projects before, they uh, can really make a difference with the longevity of your project. So let's go ahead and get started and let me share some tips with you on uh, prepping your projects in design space if you're using multiple colors as well as how to get your HTV on your mat. All right, so I have my design with the name here on the canvas. This design is included for free with the Back to School Mystery Box. There's a link where to, design, uh, to download the SVG in the description of this video. But we're gonna go ahead and click Make It. And since we're using the Maker 3, we'll select On Mat since it's not a smart material. Now to save some time, we are going to do both the name and the design on one mat. So to do that, you'll want to first mirror your design, which we did. And then on the second mat, click the button that has the three dots and click move object. Then select the first mat and click continue. Then you'll, you'll see that it automatically mirrors the design since we uh, hit mirror already. You'll just move the name over to the other side and be aware of how big um, your design is because you'll want to cut your uh, HTV down to size. And then just click continue and we'll head over to um, the mat and I'll show you how to line everything up. So. With HTV, you want to line, uh, put it on your mat with the shiny side down or the glitter side down if you're working with glitter. Because this sparkled HTV is a smooth glitter, I cut everything on Everyday Iron-On. If you are using a thicker glitter HTV, you might not want to do it on the same mat. But let me show you, if you are working with a new material, how to make sure your cuts go through so that you don't waste material. If you caught my Instagram live a couple weeks ago, you saw that I didn't do this and it um, didn't really affect the design, but it could have been disastrous. So once your design is cut out, before you unload your mat, peel back or try to start weeding your design on your cutting mat uh, just to see if it's weeded through. Here you can see that it's cut through, so we'll go ahead and unload the mat. Um, completely and then take our HTV off of the mat. Once we have our HTV off of the mat, uh, then we can start weeding like uh, we normally would. I do like to weed HTV and vinyl starting in the top left corner. I've just found it's easier to do it that way. And these stab and grab tweezers are my favorite weeding tool. If you've been watching the back to school mystery boxes I, uh, tutorials, I use these in every tutorial. It just makes weeding so much easier. If you are doing an order through 143 Vinyl, I definitely um, suggest adding one of these to your cart. If you don't have one already, they make weeding small pieces, especially like the insides of these pencils, a serious lifesaver. 
Next, we'll talk about pressing pillows. So let's go ahead and finish this, this design and we'll talk a little bit about the pillows. Let's take a minute and talk about pressing pillows. Um, pressing pillows are things that you'll put inside. Um, you can either put them inside of shirts, you can put them inside of bags, but they're things that you use with HTV or iron-on vinyl. And the sole purpose of them is to uh, get as much heat on where you need it on the project that you're pressing. So these bags have um, the neoprene on inside, but if we are using a heat press um, or an easy press, because you have the seams from the zipper that raise up, sometimes you won't get the full heat onto the bag and so your projects won't last. So that's where a pressing pillow or an easy press mat come in handy. So you can use either or, um, it doesn't really matter. This pressing pillow is one that I got in a pack, I think that were five included from Amazon and they have all different sizes. Um, and then this is just a small easy press mat. And all you have to do is you just um, open up your bag or if you're doing a onesie, just like unbutton the bottom and just put the pressing pillow in. And I'll show you when we're lining up the design here in just a second, um, how to make sure that you have your design fully on the pressing mat. So for example, let's say we had the pressing mat up here. I don't know if you can tell, maybe you can tell there. So see how you only have the pressing mat there. You'd be missing out on this bottom part and this part might not um, fully press onto your bag. If you are using an easy press um, or an easy press mini like we're using the mini here, if you have the pressing mat or the easy press um, mat or the pressing mat, either one in the bag, I still suggest using an easy press mat underneath um, just to keep the heat inside the bag and not onto your table. But let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you what temperature setting you'll want to set your easy press on next as well as how to line up your design and tips um, for layering HTV. So let's go ahead and jump into that part. All right, the Easy Press Mini is really easy to preheat. You just hit the power button, and that first line you will want to heat if you're using a low temperature HTV from like 255 to 295. The second one, which we're using, is perfect for 300 to 355, and then that third line is high heat from like 360 to 400. But once your Easy Press Mini is preheated, you'll want to heat your surface for about three seconds, then put your pressing pillow in, and then line up your first layer of your design. I like to use this um, big Cricut ruler. I've linked it in the description of the video, but you want to measure both um, both left and right sides as well as the top and the bottom to make sure it's centered. Once you do have it centered, like I showed you before, I have a piece of glitter there I need to get rid of too. Try to be aware if there's anything under um, your backer to remove that because it can um, be pressed with your heat source but make sure that you have your pressing pillow all the way down so that the full heat of your Easy Press uh, Mini or Easy Press, whatever you're using, is going where you want it to go. Then you'll just go ahead and you'll uh, move your Easy Press Mini with firm pressure for about 12 seconds. Just move it all the way around and then just peel your backer up. Don't get rid of that backer yet though. We're gonna keep this, so set it aside. And then you'll want to line up um, the name in the center of your design. To prevent any marks from going into the bag, I am going to cut the liner down on the name so that if there are any lines from pressing, it'll go into the glitter. I'll show you when it's done. We didn't end up with any lines, thank goodness. Um, but it's just a lot easier to do that. And then make sure to cover your the rest of the design with that original backer so that your Easy Press Mini doesn't um, melt the rest of the design. Then just press it again for about 12 seconds and remove the big backer as well as that small backer. And then the way to tell if your um, design is fully pressed on your shirt is you'll wanna look for the fibers. If you can see the fibers um, from your material in your HTV like you can here, let me um, change the angle a little bit so you can see it. It's hard to tell in the glitter, but you can tell in the name. Um, let me see. There you see. See how you have the fibers of the bag in the name? That's how you know that your HTV is pressed on well. So like I said, this was a very basic tutorial, but this is a great project to start if you're new to HTV um, or if you're a beginner crafter. This is a really easy first project to make and it's really fun. Whether you're a beginner crafter or you're a more experienced crafter, always fun um, to make personalized projects. So I have linked, like I mentioned earlier, everything um, that we used in today's tutorial in the description of this video. There's also links to the ebook um, and the SVG files for this um, in the description of the video. 
If you um, didn't know, the Back to School Mystery Box comes with an ebook with project tutorials for all seven projects plus a bonus sublimation tutorial. So you can get that for free with the Back to School Mystery Box. I linked that in the description of this video. Um, and if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love to have you give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to Tastefully Frugal for more Cricut tips, tricks, and tutorials. Have a great day.